After we posted this short about India's got latent controversy and if AI can survive Indian comedy or not, a lot of you mentioned that you do not understand what sentiment analysis is. So today we're right here to discuss that. Hi, I'm Nishita and you're watching Geeks for Geeks, your one-stop solution for all coding related problems. So what exactly is sentiment analysis? Well, sentiment analysis is a method in NLP, which is natural language processing, which helps computer understand what emotion is there in a text. It works by analyzing the words in a sentence and classifying them as positive, negative or neutral. This way, AI can figure out if a piece of text feels happy, sad, angry or even sarcastic. Imagine you're watching an Indian comedy show and after a particular hilarious scene, you tweet, Oh my God, this is the funniest thing ever. Sentiment analysis tools like Text Blob and Vader would immediately classify this as a positive tweet based on the word funniest and laughing emojis. They identify this as an indicator of joy and laughter, which is often considered a positive sentiment. So AI might easily label this tweet positive, but as we know, humor is rarely straightforward. Indian comedy is filled with exaggerated expressions, sarcasm, and sometimes even irony. This creates a problem for sentiment analysis because while humans can understand these expressions, it's a problem for AI to do the same. For example, if you tweet, oh, another great hilarious meeting, just what I needed. The word hilarious and needed might send a positive sentiment, but we know from your words that this is a sarcastic comment. But we know from the sarcasm that you're actually frustrated. Unfortunately, AI might not note the sarcasm and might label this as positive because AI does not understand the underlying tone. This is the biggest challenge for sentiment analysis, sarcasm. AI normally classifies your text based on positive or negative words present inside of it. But it struggles to understand the tone or context of those words. For example, if you say, that was the worst performance I've ever seen, it was so good. AI will likely miss the sarcasm and incorrectly categorize it as positive. Positive. Another issue would be exaggeration, which is often frequent in comedy. Indian comedians often use exaggeration to talk about stuff. For example, if they say something like, Oh my god, the show was so good, I nearly cried. On the surface, it can easily be interpreted as positive and AI might categorize it as a positive comment. But if the exaggeration isn't recognized, it might lead to misinterpretation. Humans understand that this is an over-the-top expression of joy, but AI needs more training to understand such phrases. So how does sentiment analysis work in general and how does AI approach it? In a sense, sentiment analysis involves categorizing a piece of data into positive, negative or neutral. Some tools use simple matching keywords like looking for positive words like happy, great and amazing or negative words like terrible, horrible and disappointing. But this basic approach often misses a deeper meaning when sarcasm or exaggeration is involved. To tackle this, tools like TextLob and Vader help breaking down the text into components and assigning scores based on the sentiments of individual words. For example, if you give AI a funny comedy clip, it might label it as positive or happy because of the words associated with humor, which is laughing or funny, which are clearly positive. But if it's a cringe moment in a comedy show, the AI might show neutral or negative score depending on the words used. Now let's get into a more technical side of the same. There are two main approaches used to perform sentiment analysis, the rule-based and the machine learning based approach. The rule-based approach is simple and often use predefined words, which is referred as lexicon. These lexicons are dictionary of words with each word assigned with a sentiment score. For example, the words like affordable, well-made and fast would be classified in the positive lexicon. And words like expensive, poorly made and slow would categorize in the negative lexicon. The system scans the text for these words and assigns a negative or a positive score based on how frequently these words occur. For example, let's say the review says these shoes are affordable and the shipping was fast. A rule-based system would pick out on the words affordable and fast and label this as positive. But here's where the problem lies. What if someone writes a sarcastic review? For example, wonderful, a pair of shoes that lasted one whole week. The rule-based system would classify wonderful and pair of shoes as positive but will miss the sarcasm and hence classify the whole statement as positive. This is where negation also causes a lot of problems. Say the statement is, I wouldn't say these shoes were cheap. A rule-based system would take the word cheap and classify this as a positive statement. When combined with the entire statement, there's a negation, which actually implies the shoes are expensive. Without understanding the nuance, the AI might misclassify the sentiment. On the other hand, machine learning based sentiment analysis take everything a step further. Machine learning trains algorithm based on labeled data set. 
allowing the system to recognize more complex patterns in the text. Rather than depending on a predefined lexicon, ML models can easily identify the sentiment from learning from context models and word relationships. This approach is more capable of recognizing sarcasm, exaggeration and other complex emotions and subtle differences between positive and negative sentiments. A good example of ML models used for sentiment analysis is Support Vector Machine, which is SVM. These are powerful classifiers which can differentiate between negative and positive sentiments based on various features like word frequency and context. By analyzing how words appear in proximity with each other, SVM can easily even identify sarcasm. Another popular algorithm is Naive Base, which works by calculating the probability of a sentiment based on the words in a sentence. It's great for classifying text, especially when you have a large data set, like product reviews or social media posts. Now let's talk about polarity. In sentiment analysis, polarity refers to the overall feeling conveyed by a text. It's often measured on a scale from negative to positive with neutral in the middle. Some models go even further by categorizing sentiments into extreme factors, like extremely positive positive or extremely negative. This gives businesses a nuanced view of customer feedback, allowing them to take a better action on the overall sentiment expressed. For example, if a customer writes, this is the best purchase I've ever made, the polarity score is likely to be very positive. But if a customer writes, this is neither good nor bad, the polarity score would be somewhere closer to neutral. In addition to basic polarity, fine-grained sentiment analysis can categorize emotions into further categories like anger, frustration and happiness. This approach is particularly useful in customer service where understanding the exact approach behind a message can guide the company in how to respond. For example, if a customer writes, I am extremely frustrated with the services, the sentiment analysis can understand the emotion behind the customer is frustration rather than just labeling it as negative. Another type of sentiment analysis is aspect-based sentiment analysis. ABSA focuses on specific aspect of product or service. For example, if a customer reviews a new restaurant, they might say, the ordering process was easy, but the customer support was slow. ABSA can identify the positive sentiment related to the ordering process and the negative sentiment related to the customer support. Finally, emotional detection is a more advanced form of sentiment analysis that seeks to identify the emotional state of a person writing that text. This includes understanding the psychological state of an individual and their intent. It is more complex than basic sentiment analysis and is used to understand the underlying emotions like frustration, excitement or stress. For example, if there is a support ticket saying, I'm so tired of dealing with these issues, emotional detection helps detect exhaustion and frustration rather than just labeling this as a negative comment. In conclusion, sentiment analysis is a powerful tool which helps businesses and people understand how people perceive their products and services and even their content online. However, when it comes to Indian comedy with all this sarcasm, dramatic flair and exaggeration, AI can miss a lot of the context. But with more advanced techniques like ML and emotional detection, sentiment analysis is getting better at understanding even the most complex humor. Want to see the full process of how we build this? Let us know in the comments if you want a detailed video on how we do this. And if you get sufficient comments, we'll definitely make a video about it. And if you made it this far, do like this video, comment on it, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications when we upload the videos. See you later.